There once was a boy who was scared of his bed, for sleep, he believed, would wind up with him dead. Mother and father said, There's nothing to fear, as his door they shut tight, saying, Go to sleep, dear. But the boy, he knew better. The boy was aware that his bed was a monster and his room was its lair. So night after night, and despite Ma and Pa's prattle, the boy in his bed waged their ongoing battle. First out go the lights, next a sickening motion, as the boy's wall-to-wall -wall carpet becomes deep like the ocean, where somewhere below in all that fathomless dark, his bed circles slowly like a ravenous shark. So still must the boy be. He can't lose his head, or lose it he will between the jaws of his bed. It's down there, he knows it, and it's coming up fast. So high on the wardrobe, he climbs like a mast. The boy's eyes are so heavy, and yet sleep he must never, for his bed never rests in its dreadful endeavor. Like tendrils, it sheets, they encircle his tummy, so as to wrap the boy up and wrap him tight as a mummy. Stuck fast like a bug, and his bonds getting tighter, he sees the bed creep toward him. Not a shark now, a spider. But the boy can't escape. He gives a blood curdling scream. Oh, but darling, his mom says, it's just a bad dream. The boy tells them, no, for me sleep is fatal, for my bed is a monster with appetites hateful. His mother and father look on with despair thinking, poor little chap, and stroking his hair. So they gave the boy pills. The doctor said, two, with warm milk before bed, and he'll sleep the night through. But come the next morning, they found their boy gone. That's the thing about grown-ups. They get these things wrong.